All right, guys, this is Josh Ortega, and I'm here with Shane Miller with Athletes Arena. We're going to go over uh, an Olympic lifting variation that we use with all our athletes to teach them to use the lower half of their body to create a more explosive, more powerful athlete. One of the things we always like to do with all of our athletes is explain to them why they're doing something in the weight room. Why are we doing something like an Olympic lift, and how is it going to benefit them as an athlete to help them run faster, jump higher, be more of an efficient of a mover than, 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 they would, than they would be normally. So what we're going to go ahead is we're going to bring in Kimberly. Kimberly's going to show us a lot of the stuff that we're going to, or going to demonstrate the lift off the high block. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in Shane Miller, who's our Olympic lifting coach, uh, who's a very accomplished lifter himself. He's going to go over why we do it off the high block with a lot of our beginning lifters, uh, what's the purpose of it, and some very important cueing points if you want to go ahead and try this at home with your new athletes who are learning the Olympic lifts as well. Thanks, Josh. Um, okay, well, oftentimes what we see a lot of athletes do is the grip it and rip it method, okay, in which they initiate their action uh, with the bar uh, by yanking up on the bar with their arms, pulling with their back, and it really just becomes hard work more than it is serving the purpose of developing that lower body explosiveness Josh was talking about. So in order to eliminate that, we'll try to take a, an athlete to the blocks. And Kim, if you'll get into position, the blocks, what allows us to do is, now she doesn't have that heavy weight in her hands. Um, she can connect to the bar, but she isn't trying to support it and worry about holding on to it. We'll get them to start with the chest up. And her first action here um, is going to be simply, let's just stand up, Kim, with the bar. Stand up. That's what we're going to be doing, but really fast. So lower it down. Now, I'm going to initiate through the heels. Feet first, Kim. Good. Nice high pull. Feet first. Hard. Good. Again, let's go with the high pull. Feet first. Nice. Feet first again, please. Very nice. Relax. As you can see, wasn't a whole lot of action here. She was very vertical with her upper torso. All the action was delivered from the knees and the hips, and she got right back into the ready position. Off of the hang, back up, Kim. Now, let's go with the lower to mid thigh and go again. Okay, so you see there, go again, Kim. She loses contact. Right there, good. Thanks, Kim. Bring it in. Now, it's really hard for Kim to do it wrong, but. Um, if you, if you watch that carefully, you'll notice her hips back away from the bar on that on initiation. And that's an indication to me that she's thinking about pulling up on that bar versus driving through the ground, applying force through the ground, uh, which is what we want our athletes to be able to do more of on the field and on the court. To apply force through the ground, bigger, faster, stronger athletes. Thanks, Ken. Thank you, guys. Also, if you want to get in touch with us, you can get in touch with us through the IYCA. You can get in touch with us through athletesarena.com. And uh, we'll be putting a little bit more information out as far as the Olympic lifting variations that we do to help our athletes become more explosive.